Hi friends, welcome back for another Sun, Moon, and Stars lesson. Today is day one of week nine. For today's lesson, all you need is your thinking cap and your listening ears. We're going to get started with our familiar moon movement. We've done this moon movement many times, and usually I either model it or I read the descriptions for you as we do the movement together. Well, today I was thinking that we would exercise our independent skills. I'm going to take myself off of the screen, and I'm going to use the circle to show you what movement you should be doing. I won't be showing you with my body, and I won't be reading the description. I want to see if you can do this independently or all by yourself. Go ahead and stand up. Find a safe place. Take a look at the screen. And we're going to start in number one. Remember, I won't be reading it to you. You're doing it independently. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number 10. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Good job, you can join me back to our lesson. You did that independently all by yourself. Hopefully now your mind and your body are ready to learn. During our last lesson together, we discovered this text. It was a text that was given to Elvin. What the sun sees, what the moon sees. In this text, we thought about what are the things that we usually see during the daytime and during the nighttime. Today, we're gonna to continue that conversation, but we're going to watch some videos of daytime and nighttime. Then we'll talk about what we noticed. Our learning for target for today says, I can describe what animals and people do during the day and night based on observations of pictures and videos. We will be describing what animals and people do during the day, then we'll describe what people and animals do at night, and to do all this, we're going to use some videos. Of course, when you're watching the videos, you're gonna to have to take some close observations. The videos that we're watching are time-lapse videos. That means that someone sets up a camera or some type of equipment and they videotape a long stretch of time and then they speed it up for us so that we only have to watch one minute. But it seems like we get to watch a whole day because it's super fast. 
Before we watch our videos, let's go ahead and do some pre-thinking. We already know a lot about day and night. So let me move myself right here. What are some activities that people might do during the day when the sun is out? What are some activities that people might do during the day when the sun is out? I'll go first on this one. I'm thinking that people might play outside. They might walk outside or exercise outside. And they go to school, right? You go to school during the day. What are some other things that we could add to our chart? Some activities that people do during the day. Good. Now let's look at the other side of the chart. What are some activities that people might do during the night when the moon is out? So here's what we're doing during the day and here's what we're doing at night. This time I want you to go first. What are some activities that people are doing at night when the moon is out? Good, I'd like to add on to what you're saying by adding watching TV at home, maybe some movies. Sometimes we take our baths or showers at night right before we go to bed. These are all things that we do at night when the moon is out. And usually we do a lot of things indoors at night, right? Now, of course, there's a lot of, there's a lot of other things that we do during the day and at night. So we're going to watch a video of daytime, and it's daytime in New York. Are you ready to watch? While you're watching, I want you to think about what do you notice that people are doing during the day, people and animals? Once we're done with our video, we'll use this stem at the bottom of the screen to share what we notice. Was a pretty cool time lapse, huh? Hopefully you noticed what people and animals were doing during the day. Let's look at the bottom of the screen. Do you see the little sun icon? It says, I noticed that during the day, people and animals blank. I'd like for you to use that sentence starter to share with me what you noticed. I'll go first and then I'll listen to your noticing. I noticed that during the day, people and animals were active. I saw lots of people running in the park, walking around, taking pictures. 
You could see in the water that sometimes you'd see a fish jump up or you'd see things moving around. So I noticed a lot of activity and there were a lot of people outside, weren't there? Now it's your turn. Start with that sentence starter and share what you noticed. I'll give you a moment to think. And then when I show you this, it's your turn to share. Good, and did you think that there were a lot of people or not a lot of people outside? There were a lot of people. Now, our next video is going to be a time-lapse video of Boston at night. While we're watching, you need to be noticing and making some observations. Think about what are the people and the animals doing at night? Okay, now that we've watched our time lapse of night, I'd like for you to think about what you noticed. Look at the bottom of the screen. Do you see the crescent moon icon? That sentence starter says, I noticed that during the night, people and animals blank. Hmm, what were the people and the animals doing in that video? Let's see, I think I noticed that during the night, people and animals were not walking around on the streets. I'll give you a moment to think about what you noticed. Go ahead and share.
good noticing. Maybe you also noticed that it was darker, right? I noticed that people were in their cars driving around, and I noticed that I didn't see many animals. When we look at these videos, we can see lots of different things. But I'm thinking that these videos of day and night, they don't exactly look like what my house looks like during the day and at night. So what was different? Think about these videos and then think about where you live. I know that where I live, during the day, there's lots of kiddos playing and running around in our neighborhood. And at night, it's quiet and still. And it's dark, just like it was in this video. But I don't see a lot of cars like I saw in this video. What do you see where you live? during the day. What do you see? And can you describe what you see where you live during the nighttime? Good job, thank you for sharing. See, we all live in different places, so depending on where you live, you might see different things during the day or during the night. Today's learning target said, I can describe what animals and people do during the day and night based on observations of pictures and videos. After we watched our videos, we did just that. We described what the people and the animals were doing. I'd like for you to continue thinking about this. Think about as you visit different people or you see different areas, think about what does it look like here during the day? Or what does it look like here during the night? I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.